Hey guys, how's it going? This is Floodmod14, and we're back here with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny, as you can see. Uh, and just so you know, this is a bonus episode. So let me... Eh, I think that looks alright. Hopefully it sounds alright. Um, let me just get into a duel real quick. Actually, I'm going to go to triple... And we're going to go... You know what? I never did commentary for the first... Uh... Tower? First tier? So just for fun, we're going to go back to the first tier. And like I said, this is a bonus episode. I'll start explaining why once we duel. Order doesn't really matter, but let's put Grandpa first just in case he... Gets Exodia on the first turn. Like, for some odd reason. Okay, here we go. Those are based on skill, but there's always a little luck involved. So don't be disappointed when your luck runs out, you whippersnap. Alright, you got it, Gramps. Alright, so bonus episode. We'll go second. That way I have time to explain things before I need to have time to think. <laughs> priorities, man, priorities. Okay, so, um, let's see, yeah, bonus episode, um, one of the really good things that I thought, um, uh, I know that some of those bonus episodes failed when I was recording with Mako, but one of the really good things, nice, Harvey's Feather Duster, that came of it, sure, we'll play this, don't have to really think about that too much. Uh, one of the really good things that came of it was that I thought, hey, um, let's, what do you have, negate attack, trap hole, huh, yeah, good call. Uh, we'll play Sanyin and Torrential, just, uh, uh, yeah. If you summon anything more powerful than Sanyin, that way we can search for Mystic Tomato. Attack Jin, Watcher of the Wind. Wow, that card looks kind of cool, it looks like a hologram. Uh, anyway, anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, the bonus episodes that failed. Yeah, something good that came out of it. Um, what I had started doing in um, one of them is to read, is to, uh, you know, you know how at the end of the duel you get three Egyptian god card statues, right? And you have Obelisk, Slifer, and Raw. Um, but you, you know, playing this game, I mean, haha, <laughs> spell card. Uh, yeah, playing this game, you might not know, hey, which statue do I pick if I want to get the best cards? So, yeah, we'll use Torrential Tribute here. Um, so, that's what I started doing, was reading off, I just looked up a, like a walkthrough on GameFAQs or something. Uh, at first I thought about not recording this bonus episode, cause, it's, cause like, you can do that too, you know, just look it up on Game Facts or whatever, but that's boring, that's boring. And, um, you know, when I'm watching an LP, I really appreciate when, um, when the lp -er, uh, you know, gives, gives the information while in the video, you know, cause I'm lazy, I don't wanna, <laughs> yeah, I, I really am, uh, I don't wanna, you know, look that stuff up myself, so, um, yeah, it just saves me about, you know, 10 minutes or so, so, that's, that's awesome in my book. Oh, Grandpa's actually smart, Chain Jar of Greed before I played Royal Decree, ah, you're one of the rare ones, Grandpa, you're one of the rare ones, um, yeah, usually the AI will be pretty stupid, and, um, you know, play the traps while Royal Decree's face up. That was actually a good move. Uh, by the way, sorry if there's any glare or, um, you know, the video just looks different. Actually, the truth is I'm recording this on Saturday, um, and, and in the, like, I just woke up, guys, like, and so, so yeah, sorry if my voice sounds groggy, too, but I just woke up about... Um, like an hour ago, I took a shower and everything. I still haven't ate breakfast. Um, so, yeah, sorry if I sound like, I don't know, like I'm out of it or something weird. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, the guide card statues. 
So what I started doing is, um, you know, along with my commentary or whatever, laughing about, you know, whatever happens in the duel, uh, what I had started to do was um, list off the cards you can win from the, uh, uh, and he'll probably take an Exodia PCI, but it doesn't matter. It's too, it's too late. It's too late, old man. Now hand over that blue eyes. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, stay on top. Okay, so I started list, you know, what statue you should pick when facing who, basically. Um, so we'll face Shimon next. And that's what I'm going to do in this bonus episode. Hopefully, once again, hopefully my voice records fine and everything and there's no issues. Um, but before this, I saved once again, like I uh, mentioned in the uh, tier, the tier five battle the the second one uh like i mentioned that basically what i did is i saved okay, real quick yeah stone soldier road to create probably really helps out against shimon um but yeah i saved two separate files so if this doesn't upload for some reason uh well actually i'll probably just no i'll probably save anyway and if it doesn't upload with my commentary i'll just be like uh yeah guys i um uh, I had another missed episode, but, you know, didn't win anything too good, because I probably won't, you know, truth is, I probably won't win anything too good from this tier battle, so, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to start doing, we're going to start listing the, some of the cards you can win, so let me find, um, my list here, uh, yeah, so like I said, sorry if there's any glare, too, or, you know anything that's not normally there normally I record at night and uh, and normally I don't record on the weekends because it's um, uh, let's just go ahead and well no he only has one trap I don't need spring grill to create yet uh, but yeah normally I don't record on the weekends just because there's so much uh, foot traffic you know um, in the weekend uh, you know, because people are out of school, people are out of work, y you know, you know, you know how it is. I'm sure it's the same for you guys, too. Trap pole? Yeah, no. That ain't happening. Uh, well, actually, eh, it's just trap hole. <laughs> Not too worried about Masaki getting trap hole, of all things. Um, but let me find my list here so I can start, uh, giving you guys some of the deets, some of the details. You gotta pay attention to the details. Details. Wow, anyone who gets that reference, you're awesome. Um, Penguin Soldier. Eh, nice, not much I can do about that, bro. Alright, alright. Uh, and I've already summoned, so... Alright, anyway. The first list. Miracle of Nature. Oh my god. That is... <laughs> Sorry, that's actually... That's actually from um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Um, which I'm also LPing, uh, Shameless Blood, that you can watch on this channel. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. That's who I want to look up. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Xbox Don. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, uh, I'll start with Grandpa Moto, you know, because we started with him in this tier, so nice. Mystic to Mail. Let me pay attention real quick here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Grandpa... From the obelisk statue, you know what, let me commentate during his turn. I think that's easier. So we'll suicide kill with Mystic Tomato. Yeah, I could use Black Peanut, but I mean, I'm just going to search for another Mystic Tomato, so don't matter to me, cuz it don't matter if your homies don't dance in it, put in your pants in a, in a rock away. Wow, yeah, I can't believe I actually failed on that, uh, <laughs> On the miracle of nature, man. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter if I fail. It's a bonus episode. It doesn't matter. Okay, main phase two. I think we're good. So, Grandpa. So, from the obelisk statue, you can win the left leg of the Forbidden One. Um, you can also win the left arm of the Forbidden One. So, yeah. Um, you can win Neil the so Magic Swordsman from the obelisk statue. White Magical Hat. For Grandpa. Now, if you duel him like I'm dueling him here in the tier, 
battle uh, from the Obelisk statue, you can win Dragon Seeker, uh, which is decent. It's got 2,000 points, and it, you know, it's kind of tech. You can help you against dragons. Uh, Soul Hunter, uh, Woden, the Resident of the Forest, and Second Coin Toss. Now, out of all those cards that, you know, I recommend, uh, White Magical Hat is actually really good. We, we kind of want that. In fact, we definitely want that at some point before a certain tier. I'm not spoiling anything, but uh, if it attacks directly, you can discard a card from your opponent's hand, so that's really good. Also, second coin toss is pretty good as well if you're using cards like Barrel Dragon or Time Wizard or even uh, Fairy's Box. It can combo really well with those cards. Uh, so now let's pay attention here. Um, he only has 600 points left, so I'm just going to go for the attacks at this point. No trap card? Okay. Uh, maybe I should play Black Pig. Oh, Penguin Soldier. Man. Good job, Shimon. Good job. Man, you guys are trying to screw me against the... Uh... Oh, he didn't return both. Okay, well, I'm definitely fine with that. Pfft. I was just thinking, man, you guys are really trying to screw me against my upcoming duel with Yugi. But that didn't happen. And of course, you know, you can recommend the Exodia pieces. Um, I I don't think I ever fully collected Exodia in this game, but that's definitely something I should think about for the LP, is to show that off. That would be really awesome. Uh, I don't know if it has a summoning animation or not. Um, yeah, I don't really remember. Anyway, and the Slifer statue, now, Grandpa most closely relates to Slifer, so that's what I originally thought, is like, yeah, you should pick the Slifer statue because that's who he closely relates to. But no, it turns out um, there are good cards you can win in, well, really, for most of the duels, there are good cards you can win in all the statues. So, I found that interesting when I was looking that up. Uh, let's just, oh gosh, I was gonna say, let's just finish uh, Shimon off here. Before I start to read the list, but he played a good card. All right, all right, all right. Fair play. Shimon's actually playing pretty good here. Uh, I probably should play Black Pin and just yeah, I should have just to end it, end it, end it now. But since he played Mystic Tomato in Attack Mode, I can actually end it uh, because what I'll do is I'll sacrifice your Cybertech Alligator. So no problem, no problem. 400 points might hurt us against Yugi. I don't know. Anyway, from Grandpa, from the Slifer statue, you can win Penguin Soldier, which I think you guys have seen that. Oh, doesn't matter what card I take, but we'll take Masaki, just for kicks. Uh, Sangen, um, yeah, some of these you've seen me win, um, but some of them you haven't, so I'll read them anyway. Uh, Neo, the Magic Swordsman, you can also win from the Slifer statue. Um, the Illusory Gentleman, uh, let's see, Aquamador, uh, Mystic Tomato, Negate Attack, from the Slifer, these are all still from the Slifer statue, um, Magic Jammer, um, Jar of Greed, which I still haven't got yet, but I really want, uh, Backup Soldier, uh, Exodia the Forbidden One, the head of Exodia, okay. So, you can win all those in single duel, uh, from Grandpa, so there you go. And yeah, that'll finish off Shimon. And, okay, now if you duel them in the tier duels like we're doing here, from the Slifer statue you can win Needle Ball, um, Tainted Wisdom, and Woden, the Resident of the, of the Forest again. So, there we go, that's for Slifer, and... There we go. That way, that's a good stopping point. I can start to take on Yugi. I don't really think I need to side any... Ooh, excuse me. Got a bit of the hiccups there. Side anything. Uh, I'm also drinking some Kool-Aid, by the way. Some, some more of that red Kool-Aid. Yeah. So that's good. That should get me... And it, it's sweet, too. So it should get me nice and... Nice and hyper. Nice and, you know, woke up. So... Uh, but yeah, since I woke up... Yeah, and like I said, it just so happens to be... Normally, I don't record on Saturday, but since, um... Yeah, everyone just so happens to be out of the house doing various things, so... Plus, it's also raining outside, so... 
I mean, it's like I hit the jackpot, basically. Um, it's like, you know, everything's falling into place, man. I, uh, for some reason, I also woke up early, which, yeah, normally I don't wake up this early on Saturday. Like, I'll sleep in. But, but hey, a a after I woke up, I noticed one of my videos was finished uploading. Uh, oh, and by the way, this, these episodes taking place in between... I think it's going to be episode 70... Five and seventy-seven. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, but yeah, funny thing though. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm recording these in between. But man, Joey Wheeler kicked my ass, dude. In um, in the episode before this. So yeah, uh, man, he pulled off a great combo, man. He, uh, he pulled out red eyes. Uh, then he equipped it with United We Stand, and I just, for the life of me, I could not draw Penguin Soldier until the last minute, until it was too late. Man, he, that was a great duel. And then on top of that, you know, eventually he got five monsters out. I tried to stall him out. I stalled as much as I could, but just couldn't get that Penguin Soldier to bounce him back to the hand, man. Uh, let's see. Well, he's not attacking. Mm, he'll probably, he has two, and I, I'm afraid he might tribute for... Dark Magician at this point. Um, so we'll go for Millennium Shield. That's probably a good idea. Um, although I do have Torrential in case things get too dicey. Uh, and Magic Younger, so. But yeah, he kicked my ass, man. Um, anyway, uh, back to the card list. So, Grandpa, uh, from the Raw, Wing Dragon of Raw statue, you can get Pot of Greed. Really good. I, I think we, we want to go for that uh, definitely before the next uh, triple battle session. Like I said, I want to get some really good stuff. Pot of Greed, Cyber Jar, etc. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, in between the duels, and, and you may notice that I have I have won a couple good cards. Um, ha ha. Wow, you, that's a big chunk of your life points, homie. You just lost 1,700. Wow, I'm surprised he actually attacked into that. Normally, they won't attack Millennium Shield, but uh, I guess you be, I don't know, go a little ballsy or something. Uh, not much we can do, we'll just skip. Uh, but yeah, from the Raw statue for Grandpa, you can win Pot of Greed, Aquamador, Right Leg of the Forbidden One, Trap Hole, uh, Akiketsu, which I think it's just a normal 1,000 attack point spellcaster. I don't know why that's on this list, but it, but it was, so. I thought I'd read it off. Maybe you can use it for a fusion or something. Oh, that's game, Yugi. That's game. Wow, stalled out. Finally got what we need. Genetic Galagita. And yet, if we equip it with Black Pennant, I think that's enough, bro. You done so. Yep, and we did need Black Pennant because we would have only done 1,200 damage regularly. So, Genetic Alligator. Attack his giant soldier of stone, homing laser beam. Alright. Oh, now from the tier duels for Grandpa, you can win Creole. Oh, that's interesting. It's a fiend. And when it's destroyed by battle, you can flip a coin. And um, if you call it right, you get to destroy one monster. So that's pretty cool. A uh, UFO turtle, pretty good. It's, it's like a mystic tomato, but for fire monsters. Uh, needle Ball again, and Hieroglyph Lithograph. So, there you go. There's some cards off the list, and once again, hopefully my voice is being recording, so this isn't all for not. Uh, let's see. Now, what can we win from... Let me just look at my list here. I think I'll pick Obelisk, and hopefully we'll get something like Second Coin Toss, or maybe Dragon Seeker, uh, since we had Grandpa on this tier. Mm, nope. Oh, wow. We did get Gaia Power, though. That is interesting. Um, wow. Good card. Uh, got, actually, it's good for this deck that I'm using right now. Interesting. Yeah, so no matter what, the you know, if the recording fails or not, I'm going to save this. Because um, that is great. Um, let me just show you what that... Yeah, that's not on this list, but... Okay, so apparently if you pick the Obelisk statue here in Tier 1, you can win Gaia Power. Uh, maybe it's from somebody else. Maybe it's from, like, Shimon or Yugi, but I don't think that's on my list either, so that's pretty interesting. Let's say, hell yeah, hell yeah, let's say that. That's going in my day. 
Um, there we go. Yeah, dude. Awesome. I wasn't, I wasn't even going for that card or anything. Yeah, increases the attack of all Earth monsters by 500, decreases their defense by 400. That's perfect in this deck. Uh, we got plenty of Earth monsters. Masaki, Giant Soldier of Stone. Yeah, it'll take away his defense, but then he can attack. Uh, yeah, even Performance of Sword. And Goblin Attack Force. Man, that's crazy. Gaia Power with Goblin Attack Force out doesn't reduce his defense at all. It makes him a 2,800 point normal summon. That is insane, dude. Okay, I don't remember if I still have Forest in this deck or not. Yeah, I do. I have it in the side deck. Okay, so we can take that out. Screw that. Uh, also, uh, I just thought about this. Um, yeah, I actually thought about this. Uh, yeah, Cannon Soldier really should go in both of my main decks because... It's a good card. It has a good effect, and its 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 stats are decent. But um, because it's a dark monster, cannon soldier, you can search it with Mystic Tomatoes. So that's pretty cool. All right. So now that we've done that, uh, what time are we at? Twenty one minutes. Now normally I can get these videos on my cell phone to be recorded around forty minutes or so. So, and once again, hopefully the commentary isn't screwed, man. I really, really, really hope it's not. Um, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And, like I said, we're going to save, you know, from here on out because I got Gaia Power, which, that's pretty cool. Um, but let's duel... Shall I duel Tier 2? Yeah, why not? Because I don't think I ever did commentary for Tier 2 either. So, hey, bonus episode. Now I can say at some point I had commentary for tier 2. So let's put Taya up first. That should be nice and easy. And we'll put Tristan last for some reason. Alright. Hi, Flood! You want to hear a friendship speech? <laughs> if you think you're going to be my deck, you're in for a big surprise. Friendship is awesome! Yeah, thanks, Taya. Alright. So that is it for the list for Grandpa. Let's see who else I have written down. Man, I should call this episode uh, Secrets of the Egyptian Gods. <laughs> you have a really clickbait title. Ooh. Or maybe I should uh, call it uh, uh, Secret of the Egyptian God Cards, you know? <laughs> uh, make people think you can actually win the God Cards in the game or something. Gotta get them views, gotta get them clicks, click, 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 click. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll go with Mystic Tomato. Ooh, nice, we got Chain Energy. That's pretty darn useful um, in this tier, considering the life points are so low. Yes, yeah, so we'll set all of our cards, play Chain Energy. Luckily, sh she went first, meaning she put Forgiving Maiden, which is actually a really good card, but f she foolishly summoned it in attack mode, so. There we go. You're pretty good. Thanks, Taya. Uh, we're done with that. Now then, uh, for uh, Shimon, let me start reading off some of his good cards. Uh, so from the Slifer statue, you can get Penguin Soldier, um, Mystic Tomato, Sandigan, Jar of Greed, which, like I said, I still really, really want. Uh, let's just do a little, let's, you know what, let's play United We Stand, because she has good defensive monsters, and I don't really want to lose the life points. You can't actually lose this tier, even still. Uh, just, nice, good call, good call, Flood. That's that instinct, man, instincts. Man, it's just like when the opponent sets a card, I'm just like thinking, oh, that's probably Mirror Force, so, nice. Uh, where was I at? Uh... So, Shimon from the Slifer statue, you can win Penguin Soldier, Mystic Tomato, Sangan, Jar of Greed. I think that's where I was at, is Jar of Greed. Negate Attack, Backup Soldier. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to attack. I'm not even going to attack because I think Taya is going to finish herself off. If she plays one more card, Chain Energy, and she's done. And I didn't pay life points for Chain Energy once, so that's great. Yep, finish herself off. Good job. Alright, 
That way, that's a nice little break. I can give me a drink. I let out for a second and you walloped me. You should have heard my next friendship speech. It was awesome. Okay, next time I say I have to stay focused for the entire duel and not on you. Yeah, okay, Taya. Alright, we have Joe no Chikatsuya next. Joey Willard. What do you got, Joey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey Willard doesn't take a backseat to nobody, Blood. It's time to duel. Red eyes, black dragon. Yeah, you're gonna use United We Stand on it again on me, are you? Huh? Huh? Yeah, sorry, I'm still a little. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm actually not mad about it at all. Losing to Joey like that kind of just shows just how good his deck. Like, we've played so, so, so many duels. So many, um, you know, in this so far, and like, I can still lose to him. Um, that's, that's pretty impressive, man. That's, man. Uh, yeah, that looks good for our first turn. Okay, so from the tier duels, uh, for Shimon, you can win Mushroom Man number two. Now, that's an interesting effect monster. Um, basically, um, I think you take. See the 300, yeah, I think you take 300 points of damage during the standby phase uh, while you control it, but if you pay 500 points, um, I'm going Mystic Tomato here, if you pay 500 points, you can, during the end phase, you can transfer control of it to your opponent, so it's kind of a risky uh, move in that regard, because your opponent could easily just, you know, tribute it for something dangerous like Jinzo or Amphibious Beast or Cybertech Alligator or, you know, etc. So, but it is sort of a burn strategy and there's not too, too many burn cards in this game. So that's kind of interesting. Also, Vermilion Sparrow, I think that's a fusion monster. Uh, Swordsman from a Foreign Land, Uguchi, Rainbow Flower, Monster Eye, Steel Scorpion, and Zone Eater. Now, most of those are effect monsters that can attack directly, uh, but I really wouldn't recommend them. Well, maybe I would, you know, if you're using a nice power-up strategy. Like, if you've got Mage Power and United We Stand, that's pretty good if you use it on those and get the combo really going and then just attack directly over and over. Uh, try to get like a three turn kill. Alright, so I don't think I want to play. Ooh, he did set a card. Hey guys, you think that's Mirror Force face down? What do you guys think? I don't know, I'm feeling it. I. You smell that? I smell a Mirror Force, guys. Luckily, we have Royal Decree face down just in case anything goes wrong here. But yeah, I smell it, man. I smell a Mirror Force. Oh! Called it, Joey. Called it. I was waiting for you to do that. No, no, no. I was waiting for you to do that. Because that way I can play Royal Decree and say, F your life, nigga. Yeah, get that shit out of here, bro. You ain't gonna, <laughs> you ain't gonna Mirror Force me, man. That would have been a bad time to take Mirror Force, too. I had three monsters in attack mode. Alright, Goblin Attack Force should finish him off, though. Troops, beat down. Use that club. Uh, oh man, I totally got whooped, but I'm never gonna quit as long as I got my whole future ahead of me. Alright, I respect that, Joey. And next we have Tristan. Your voice changed? That's impossible. My voice gives me the power to be heard on this recording. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man, I really hope the commentary is kept for this, because that was pretty funny. Alright, anyway, moving on. Uh, still reading off cards for Shimon. Loving doing these bonus episodes. Uh, for Obelisk, you can win Rainbow Flower. Oh, and these are cards all... So, Obelisk and the single duels, uh, either there's not anything you can really win that's too good for Shimon, or no one's ever just found it out. Um, but you can win from the tier duel, uh, Rainbow Flower, Legul, uh, Swordsman from a Foreign Land, 
Mushroom Man number two. Oops, I dropped my list here. Uguchi. So a lot of these you can still win from the Slifer in the tier duel. Steel Scorpion and Zone Eater. Yeah, so I would really wouldn't recommend picking the Obelisk statue at all. Um, you know, unless you're going yeah for the tier for Shimon. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend picking the Obelisk at all for him specifically, unless you're going for, you know, maybe like a, what was that card we read for Grandpa? Unless you're going for, like a Dragon Seeker, yeah, or something else like that. Now, he does have a face down. Uh, does Tristan have Trap Hole? You know, it doesn't matter if he has Trap Hole, because I have Call of the Haunted. So, yeah. Things go awry, I can just bring back x -ray. Oh. He didn't play his face down. The game attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this! What? What's happening? Are we dueling? Yes, Tristan, we're dueling. Alright, so from the raw statue, Shimon. Yeah, you can win Upstart Goblin, which you see he plays a lot. Aw, oh, man, Goblin Attack Force. Wiggity wiggity whack, yo. Alright, play Solemn Wishes. Uh. Yeah, so that's, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, honestly. I think I'll let him attack, because that way Goblin Attack Force goes to defense mode, and it's not a threat. Uh, so yeah, you can win Upstart Goblin, uh, Sandman from the Raw Statue, uh, Penguin Soldier also from the Raw Statue, Trap Pole, Torrential Tribute, really? You can win Torrential Tribute from the Raw Statue, huh? Didn't know that. Fairy box, and then for the tier, uh, from picking Raw and Shimon, you can win Rose Specter of the Dun, it's a fusion monster, uh, plant type. Uh, let's see, Cannon Soldier, can you attack this? No. Might as well kill Goblin Attack Force, get it out of here. Um, yeah, Rose Specter of the Dun, Vermilion Sparrow, Griggle, and Molten Destruction. Hmm. Okay. Which is, uh, basically it's like a Gaia power, but for fire. Uh, yeah. As, as the name would suggest, Molten. But Destruction, it actually sounds like, like it's a bad thing or something. But then again, it also sounds like a volcano erupting, which is the picture on the card, so. Alright. And that is all for the list from Simon. So there we go. Uh, what do you have there? Is that Battle Oaks? I might use Negate Attack here, actually. Yeah, let's use Negate Attack. Alright, and I, I wrote that list on two sides, so I'll move that to the side. Uh, let me get a drink. Man, I've been talking a lot. But that's good, this bonus episode. That's what you're supposed to do. So, I think the play here is... Yeah, we call the haunted. Bring back. Oh no, this looks bad. My voice gives me super strength. <laughs> uh, let's set this down just in case. But I think we'll switch. No, we'll just sacrifice Cannon Soldier with the zone effect. There we go, because um, I'm not going to attack Metal Ox. So he'll still have Battle Locks on the field either way. And we'll attack Ogre of the Black Shadow. Hmm. <laughs> Man, the, the hair on that guy looked pretty funny. Uh, what time are we at? 34 minutes? I think I have time to read another list off. As long as it's not a list that's too long. So let me find another list I can read off here. Oh yeah, some of these lists are from Nightmare Troubadour. <laughs> Flight to a New World, Mechanical Chair Power, okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, man, that's a long list for Joey. I don't think I'm going to start reading that. Uh, ooh, long list for Taya, too. Uh, who else we got? Oh, and of course, Yubi definitely has a long list. You know what? These lists are pretty long. Uh, let me just, I'll pick, I'll start to read off of Taya, uh, here in a minute. Well, no, 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 I'll read off of Yugi, yeah, because 
in the first tier we have Grandpa, Shimon, and Yugi. So that'll be perfect. That way, that way we get those three out of the way. And I'll maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, for the reading of the list, I'll just start to go in order of the tier. Yeah, that, that actually sounds like a good idea, Josh. Nice one, nice one. All right, so giant soldier set in return. Okay, so for Yugi, little Yugi. Now, as you saw on the last episode, um, we unlocked tier 6, which has Yugi again in it. Um, that means that some of these cards in this list may not be attainable, you know, for us right now. Because in order to get, I think, all of these obtainable, you have to, um, you have to have... Uh, like I mentioned in that video, you want to make sure at least once to put Yugi, even though he's repeated, put him at the end of the tier as if you needed to unlock a new duelist. Hey, you're not too shabby! And then, <laughs> man, that, that British Tristan voice is so funny. Uh, yeah, put him at the end of the tier, and that way you'll change his deck. You'll, like, update his deck. He'll get rid of some of the shittier cards he had, like Time Wizard and. Torike, Battle Warrior, and Zombie Warrior. <laughs> like, he'll be rid of those, and he'll have, you know, better stuff, like more defensive monsters, Giant Soldier Stone. He might even get Big Shield Gardner, um, and then, you know, Magician of Black Chaos, stuff like that. Mirror Force. I don't think he... Well, he might have had Mirror Force before, but anyway. Uh, let's just start reading this off for Yugi, because there's quite a lot of cards. Uh, so, f I'll start reading from the Slifer statue first, because there are a lot. Okay, you can win Dark Magician, and it kind of makes sense. I mean, Slifer says God card, but what I didn't expect in this list, like I said, is you can win good cards pretty much, for most people, from every statue. I didn't really... yeah. Anyway, um, Slifer statue. I'm going to read all these off before we finish off Tristan here, because there's a lot. Dark Magician, Summon Skull... Uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Gaia the Dragon Champion, Curse of Dragon, Alpha the Magnet Warrior, Beta the Magnet Warrior, Gamma the Magnet Warrior, so all the Magnet Warriors in the Slifer Statue, if you're going for the Val Valkyrian deck, Time Wizard, Mystical Elf, Celtic Guardian, Griff War, Rai Jiki, I'm sorry, Rai Geki, we definitely want to win that, I don't know if we can win it yet, like I said, but we definitely want it at some point. Polymerization, Magic Jammer, Sandgan, um, Black Land Fire Dragon. Okay, you can win all those in single duel from the Slifer Statue. Now from the tier duels, you can win, oh, a, an alternate art of Polymerization. That'd be pretty sweet to win. Um, um, Karibo, Warrior Elimination, Muyon Curie, and Cockroach Knight. Now, Karibo is also kind of good if you use it with Multiply. Now, uh, we haven't dueled him yet in Tier 6, but if you, yeah, duel him in Tier 6, um, you can win these cards. Now, you can't win these cards from the first tier. You have to duel him in Tier 6 and pick the Slifer Statue to have a chance at these cards. Light Force Sword, Spring of Rebirth, and Swords of Revealing Light. We definitely want that last one. And that is all just for Slifer. Whew. Man, that was a lot of reading. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's finish you off, Tristan. Goblin Attack Force, nice. Good thing I got Cyber Tech out of here. <sighs> Alright. Hey, you're not too shabby. Thanks, Tristan. Alright, and we're almost at the 40 minute mark, so... I think I'll finish reading the rest of the list for Yugi. Huh? I was this close to winning. You have to give me another chance. Come on, please. But if I lose the duel, I lose my soul. No! Oh, nice. We actually got some good effect monsters. <laughs> there, we have got a two-armed ninja. And, um, uh, Chibi Chimera. Oh, I'm sorry. Little Chimera. So yeah, Little Chimera, it's like a star boy for fire monsters. That's cool. Uh, our ninja, yeah, this may look a little familiar. I used this uh, in our deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Yeah, so um, pretty good. Um, 
uh, you can target a spell card. Uh, if it's not a spell card, you still get to see it and then return it to this position. So that's pretty good as well. Um, that way you can like, you know, sniff out a trap. Use your stealth skills, stealth ninja shinobi skills to uh, sniff out if there's a trap or not. And actually, let's see, this tool is at 40 minutes. Uh, do I just want to end it here? No, I kind of want to see if I can squeeze in reading the rest of this list from Yugi. So let's just do. Let's just do. I've been doing Joey and. Ooh, ooh, I just got a notification on my phone. My battery's low. Okay, so maybe I do want to end things here. Yeah, you know what? Um, wow. I, I almost clicked before before that notification just popped up, but we are still recording, right? Yeah, we are still recording. So I'm just going to read off the rest of the list for Yugi, and we're going to end it here. That way my phone doesn't die. Um, so from the Obelisk statue for Yugi, you can win Giant Soldier of Stone, Mystical Elf, Sangen, Silverfang, Feral Imp, Kamori Dragon, Great White. Okay. Now, in the tier duels, the first tier, you can win Mystical Sheep. I think that's like a fusion substitute monster. Pretty good, actually. Uh, Gaia Power. Oh, okay, so you can win. That's how we got Gaia Power, because Yugi was in that tier and we picked Obelisk. Okay, okay. So you can win it from tier 1. Okay, so it is on the list. Okay. Uh, and Rhoda, Reinforcements of the Army, very, very, very good card. I would have loved to win that card as well from the Obelisk statue. Okay, so from the Tier 6, which we haven't done yet, Obelisk, you can win Catapult Turtle, the Allied Forces, oh, I'm sorry, the Aid Forces. That's always what I thought the name was. I don't think it's ever been explained, but in exchange, eh, kind of techie, but since the AI always has OP cards like Mirror Force, Dark Hole, Grace with Charity Pod Read. Eh, exchange is actually really good in this game. Uh, if nothing else, you can steal like their best monster or something. Uh, from the Raw statue, you can win Sangin, Horn Imp, Blackland Fire Dragon, Mammoth Graveyard, and Trap Hole. Okay, and then from the Raw statue, in the tier, the first tier, you can win Dark Room of Nightmare. Very good. Great card and a burn deck. Uh, but there's not too many burn strategies uh, in this game, but still. Very good card. Very scary. Um, you can win Mystical Sheep again. So, and then you can win Zombie Warrior. His fusion. His crappy fusion. But, uh, like I said, once you duel him in Tier 6, you'll be rid of that. Uh, now, from Tier 6 and Raw, you can win Sayaru, an awesome dragon with a 2500. Um, and it's pink. Oh man, it was a secret rare. I love that card. It's sweet, man. You can win Chain Destruction, Burning Land, and Book of Secret Arts. Whew! And that is the list from Yugi, and that is the end of this bonus episode, guys. Um, I don't know if I'll record another bonus episode today. Like I said, I left it out with the circumstances. But I'm going to end this video really, really quick. Because uh, it says my phone's at about 20%, and I don't want to risk my phone dying here. So that is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to save and stuff. Save those armed ninjas we got. Um, off screen and I will see you guys next time uh, bye bye oh I had to dismiss on that first dude and eh, doesn't matter it's a bonus episode